What's up guys and welcome back to episode 2. Today we are going to be making a windmill. So the windmill is a very easy thing to make if you have the right resources. And if you do it right, it'll turn out great, just like this guy. So let's get right into it. So the windmill is another way to produce stress units. I have this guy running at 2500 stress units right now. And these guys over here are running at about... 2048 or 2060. No, 48. Okay. So, um, first we're gonna need to put down some shafts. I'm just gonna build these right next to the other ones I made. So when I put one shaft down, and you should be able to see the arrow, and I can just right-click on the shaft down here and keep right-clicking, and by the time I'm done my shafts are going to be all the way at the top. So when I'm done with that, um, now I'm going to take the vertical gearbox and I'm going to place that over on my shafts. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to take a windmill bearing. And when you are placing these also, do remember that preferably it'll be better for your windmill if it's if all your windmill pieces are facing horizontally. Okay, after placing your vertical gearbox, place one windmill bearing, and then you're gonna take a radial chassis and place that on the windmill bearing. So, after you have the radial chassis, you're gonna place white sails all the way around the radial chassis where you can see the white dots on it. So, these white dots right here. Oh. These white dots right here. Okay. So, after we do this, I'm going to start it up for you guys, and you should be able to see when I put my hand up to it, um, you're going to be able to see, or cursor up to it, you're going to see after I turn it on that it's running at 512 stress units. So 512 stress units is the slowest the windmill can go. Unlike in my last video where we made the water wheel, it only runs at about 212 max. Um, this at its slowest can run at 512 stress units. So, in order to get it to go faster, and the fastest it can go, by the way, is about 8,048 stress units, or around in there. Um, in order to get it to go faster, we're going to need to add more dimension to it. So, we're just going to play, we're going to go to our empty hand, stop it, because you can't add any sails, or wool, or gate, or anything to it while it's running. So... After we stop it, we're going to place one until it looks like, oh, a square. And then we're going to add one more to each side. And then after doing that, we're just going to make it so it looks equal. And then once that's done, we're just going to add one more block to it like this. until we can get it to look, oh my word, until we can get it to look somewhat like we want it to. Like this. So now when I start it up, you'll see that it'll be running at about 2,048 stress units like the other ones I showed you. And when we start it, it's going to look like this. And it'll be running at the same speed as the other guys. Um. The one over here is probably running a bit faster because it's also bigger. I can extend this guy right here and I could probably get it to go even faster than the other one. So what we're going to want to do is just add even more dimension to this one and move it up two more and over two more on every side. And that's what's going to make it possible to 
go faster than the other one. So, I already have these two done. Now I'm just going to add two more sets on each side. And we will be able to see that it should be going faster than the other one. If not, then there is something else we have to do to make it go faster. And you can even add as much dimension as you need to this. Like, it doesn't matter. But I think the max is about 16 by 16. Okay. So now we have a 5 by 3 structure here. And we're just going to start it up. And it should be running faster. Yep, 3,500 stress units now. And you'll see that this is running very fast compared to this little guy over here. Um, this guy has 3 by 3, and this guy is a 5 by 5. So we can tell that if you add on to the dimension, that you're definitely going to find it producing more stress units. So um, that's basically it. I mean, it's so easy to build this, and it, like I said in the beginning of the video, Yo, it's just an amazing thing to build. And I would like to give a big shout out to Dire Wolf. He's an amazing YouTuber. He knows all about this kind of stuff. So I would encourage you to go watch his videos. He gets into a lot more depth than me on all this um all this windmill and he discusses a lot more stuff in each video. His videos are about 32 minutes to 40 minutes or so, but he's able to discuss a lot more in the time than I have here today. So remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.